is going on, everybody? You know what it is. It's time for Trolling with Boys for Life. And I got a special guest today. One of my homies. Where are you hiding, man? How are you doing, bro? After the season that y'all had, how are you feeling right now? I know, I know we're a month, we're a month removed from, from, from uh the Super Bowl and and, and football, but you still got to be feeling some type of way. Yeah, I'm fit. I'm definitely feel. Well, first of all, where are you hiding, everybody? This is your boy. Where are you hiding? And um, I kind of feel empty. I feel like we have some unfinished business. And you know, I feel good about my team, but I really feel like, man, Jalen Hurts balled his ass out, and he really should have deserved that ring. You know, that's how I feel. No, from from watching some of the game in and off, on and off, um, as 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 the fan that I am, when Jalen Hurts was it before the half where he fumbled and they scooped and scored? Yeah, was, it was it was in the second quarter. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I was I, I was I was like okay okay the, the Chiefs are back in it, the Chiefs are back in it. To be honest with you, when um when uh. Jalen Hurts to that bomb to AJ Brown. I was like, "Fuck my life, bro! Fuck my <laughs> life! Like, there's, like this game's over. Like it's just it's gonna be one of those nights. Another, you know, how we stack the deck and somehow, you know, they pull it out. But after flipping on and on, on and off, and then watching that Rayana horrible halftime show. Can we talk? About, can we talk about that for a second? Rihanna yeah. was just was just singing hit after hit. It, it would be fine if she wasn't, you know, pregnant and she could be yeah. able to dance. But they had her strapped down to one spot the entire time. Ugh, man. Crazy. It's crazy. I am to be honest with you, I didn't even know she was pregnant until like a day or two after when people were like, oh, she's pregnant. Da, da, da. I was like, wait, what? I was <laughs> like, I guess, I guess I wasn't paying attention to the belly or any of her rubbing her, her belly, but I was like, yeah, don't feel I didn't bad even know life. she was pregnant. Don't feel bad. I, I, I got told literally this like five minutes into the show. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's why she's not dancing. Yeah. Um. No, man, but okay, so it's the off season right now. I know you're feeling some type of way and – and, and you know, the Eagle, you know, it's it's done. It's over with. And now you're looking at the draft and you're looking at um, what? Uh, Bradbury's back. Um, what's his name? Sarah Slay was released and then got brought back, right? Um, which from after talking to Joey Shakes, he wasn't actually released. It was just a rework of a contract, which doesn't make sense to me because if you aren't released and your contract is reworked, is there is there dead money there? I would have to say no. I mean, I, right? If you're not released, be, there shouldn't be any dead money at all because you weren't actually released. It would make more sense to release him and then sign him a day later. Yeah, it would because it would save a lot of money. Yeah, no, because because that, that that to me, if you were if you release somebody, exonerating that their contract like it's done, then yeah, you got your dead money and then you resign them. So that's that, that's that's the confusing part for me because there's there's dead money somewhere according to Joey. So. It, 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 it's a little confusing for me. But you have him back. You have Bradbury back. Do you think CJ's coming back or, or, or not yet? Or you don't know? I, I honestly think we're going to wait until April to get it done. Because I don't think, you know, this is going to be some. I know CJ's probably going to be thinking about this a lot. You yeah. know, what type of money am I going to take? You know, what, what is it going to take for me to stay in Philly? Listen, man, be loyal. Be an eagle. We we have the best opportunity of getting back to that Super Bowl. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. And Especially, I do look, to beg to differ. I do beg to differ because um, the Dallas Cowboys, uh, 
They 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 traded a fifth round pick for uh, um uh what's his name Gallimore. Yeah, they are creating all kinds of cap space right now. Like, there's no way that you mess with Demarcus Lawrence's contract again. You let go of Zeke, right? Creating uh, that, that designating that to a post June first um uh. Post June first deal or release, giving you what ten point six million, and then you mess with what's his name, uh, Tyler Smith. You rework Zach uh, Zach Martin, giving you and and giving you right now twenty three million, right? And that's mm-hmm. not including that's not including um, what's his name Zeke's. That's not including that. So so there's something there. That's telling me, hey, look, the Cowboys are about to do something big here. Whether it's they're going to go trade out for a wide receiver because you already know that's what we need. We're not going to go get a running back. We got we got Pollard. Yeah. More than likely, we're going to take the kid from um, Georgia, McKinnon. I forget what his name is. And every mock draft that I do, it's somewhere in the fourth, fifth round that I can take him. And, and and even though I think this this is me, this is. This is my deal. For the Dallas Cowboys, if they take and go get a D hop or they sign for an OBJ, something like that, and you get a big name wide receiver, I wouldn't be surprised if they take a Bajon Robinson in the first round. Now, um, if you do get like, you know, the D hop of your dreams, like what round would you take a wide receiver? If you, you know, I mean, would you still take a wide receiver if you get, you know, a splash like that? I would. I would. Um, which, so when I do my mock drafts, I take into account, um, I take into account the D hop trade, right? So, I mean, I don't do it on, 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 on the, on the side itself. I just, I normally do two or three rounds, right? And more than likely, D Hop is going to take or an OB- if it's D Hop, it's more than likely going to take maybe a third, maybe maybe somewhere in the second round, something like that. Now, if you just strictly go OBJ where it's a signing, then guess what? You don't have to trade anybody. You just sign them up, and that's where that money's coming from. Right. So, so for me, I'm still going. I'm going running back probably in the first round, or um, uh, I'm going the, the dude, the kid from Georgia. But if I'm not getting my guard in the second round, then yeah, I'm going. I, I maybe maybe I'm going. Uh, uh, what's his What's his name from? I always draft him in uh, Nathaniel Dell from from Houston. Okay, he, he's a wide receiver that I that I can get. There's uh, it's Steve. I forget what Steve I've, a, a Vala or something like that, but he is a guard out of TCU, one of the top rated guards in the country. That's another guy. That's a guy right there that I'd be looking at at fifty eight for us. And if we don't, we if he's gone before then, which every time I'm doing a mock draft, he is gone. Then I'm going a wide receiver. But he's close to home too. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts on your draft? I'm gonna I'm gonna minimize my screen, but I can hear you. Uh, let me see. As far as the first round, man, there's a whole bunch of ways to go. Uh, if we sign CJ, damn, I, I want a corner, but I don't know when to get one. We definitely need to, we definitely need somebody on that defensive line for sure. But yeah. either way, we're going to have to go defense here. Like, I think the offense is fine. Yeah, no, and, and and here's the thing. Well, see, you say offense is fine, and, and I agree, but I've been in some arguments with some other Cowboy fans that say, hey, Eagles are going to go this route, and I'm like, no, there, yeah. there, there's no way because I've already learned the pattern of what the Eagles are going to do. You're more than likely for me, this is, this is just me, what I think, you got Bradbury back, you got yeah. Slay back, right? I don't think you're going to go safety in that first round. And here's at 10, maybe at 30, maybe at 30, but not at 10. 
Here's another kicker ten. here. Here's another kicker here. What's up? Um, I said this on EC1's channel. Uh, well, somebody said it, but anyways, we're not drafting linebacker in the first round because we yeah. haven't done that since 79. We've never done. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. But go ahead. I was going to say, I was going to say you're going to go in the trenches. You're going to go offensive tackle, offensive line, and every – look, and I'm not trying to base any of this off of a mock draft. It's just what I know prior of of, of past drafts and what y'all have done outside of drafting um, Devontae Smith. A lot of the stuff is trenches type. type. You just lost Hargrave. Yep. Why, why wouldn't you re-up there? Um, Kelsey's getting older, right? Maddox. Uh, what, what, what's his name? Brent, Brandon Graham, right? He came back on a one-year deal, but you know what? He, he He's getting older. Maddox is always getting injured, so we yeah. need some insurance there. So, so I mean, I, I get it. Vontae Maddox, you, you look at corner maybe, but uh, to me – the way I think that the Eagles work, it, it it's trenches. It's got to be a tackle or it's got to be a, a defensive lineman. I agree. And then and that's where I'm at with that. I, I, I re- Maybe if, if Bradbury walked, I, I can see you taking a corner. But if you sign both your guys back and you have Maddox, even though he's hurt here and there, I don't think you're wasting a first-round draft pick on a guy who's going to be substituted in case someone gets hurt. And let's keep in mind, we have two first-round draft picks. Yes, yes. Um, but we're talking about number 10 right now because that's that's your closest. So I, right. I don't see anything outside of tackle, and I don't see anything – or not tackle, but either offensive line or defensive line. I, yeah. I, I, I can't see – knowing how Howie drafts and what y'all take as priority because corner has never uh, – linebacker has never been a priority – um um what safety not really not not at 10 um none, none of that has been really priority other than trenches when when you have a high draft pick like that it's it's more than likely trenches unless you need a wide receiver type caliber player at the time which is why you traded with us and moved up and and you took Devonte Smith that yeah. year yeah. And the year before that was what Jalen Rager because you needed another wide re- you needed that wide receiver at that spot. You just had but, to say his name. Yeah, I know, but he didn't pan out, which is why you took uh, Devonte Smith. Imagine if Rager is halfway decent from what he was. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think you go Devonte Smith in that draft. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I Rager. think he actually becomes a giant. Imagine Devontae Smith in Giants colors. <laughs> that, would, that, that would have been funny. Oh, man, you're making me bark tonight, man. <laughs> oh. What, 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 what is uh, Bothers saying? Draft running back and tight end and trade for a wide receiver. Is he talking about the Cowboys or is he talking about y'all? I, he's got to be talking about the Cowboys. He's got to be. Because I'm with him. Dra- drafting a running back, I'm with him on drafting a running back, and and in the second round for me, I, I got to go offensive line, um, tight end. Look, I'm gonna tell, I'll, like I'm speaking to Duke right now for the tight end spot. No one, nobody is looking at Dalton Schultz right now. Nobody. And if you're talking about from the Eagles' perspective, running back, no. Tight end, no. And wide receiver, maybe the later rounds because Quez Watkins, he was a huge part in why we uh, lost that Super Bowl because, you know, he just didn't run all the way through the route. Yeah, no, sorry. My, my, my damn dogs are over here. I barbecued some food. I, 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 I made some, what is it, quarter chickens? So thigh and leg, and my stepdaughter didn't eat all of her, so it's just sitting right there on the counter, and my bigger dog's crying, asking for nice. some. So nice. I, mean, uh, I had to go do that real quick, so because I was like, I can hear him crying through my headphones. So, um, but yeah, no. As as far as tight ends for y'all running backs, you already signed your running back, your tight end. 
Yeah, y'all aren't like the Cowboys where y'all need another tight end out there, 12 personnel. Y- y'all are good with the one. Um, and and what, what, what was the other thing you said? Um, wide receiver, we're probably looking at slot wide receivers maybe in the later rounds, like the third or fourth, maybe even deeper. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I agree. I, I honestly do not think. And I also, that, that's to, what I'm, also have to point this out. We lost Pascal. Um, pa, uh, Driscoll, Pascal, whatever. Yeah, where did, where did he go? I forgot where he went. I think he went to Jacksonville or something like that. Tight end is very deep this year. You can afford to go O-line early and still get a quality tight end. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean that's perfectly fine. That's why I'm go. I'm for me, I'm going offensive line. It look. Here, here, here's my thing. And, and and I've been saying this. For me, if Bajan Robinson falls to you at 26, take him, take him. But but, that's with the mindset of you already have your wide receiver in place. You know what I mean. You already got your D Hop. You already, you already, or you know you're gonna sign your OBJ. That that that's it. You got your wide receiver, mm-hmm. right? You what? No, I was just looking at something. Okay, no, but that's with the mindset of you got your wide receiver already. So okay, let's go get a running back at 26, which makes more sense, right? Other than drafting him at number four, even though even though uh, Zeke was a monster, right? But 26 is is a better number because right now that's what we're in need of is a running back. So if you go out and get yourself a wide receiver in free agency, it allows you to go and get your player of need and then the second round still go get your offensive line that you need. And then in the third round, because this wide receiver core is so deep, you can still go out and get you a – there's a guy that I'm looking at. It's going to be a reach in the third round, but I don't see him making it to the fourth at where we're at is uh, Trey Palmer. He's a wide receiver out of Nebraska. This kid, it's, he, he just – to me, he just jumped off of the table where his speed and his hands, it's just it's, – it's, it's nice. His route running ability, it, it, it's awesome. So – for me, that's where I'm at at this point with the Cowboys. It's because there's you, you don't see something like like tell me when was the last time you saw uh um what's his name? Uh Jerry Jones make a move like that for a caliber player like Stefan Gallimore and then rework like what six, seven different contracts to get you to where you're at right now in salary cap to make Almost a move never. for somebody? Almost never, never, right? Never. So that's got to be telling that something's coming. Something's coming. So let me you throw you know what. Little, let me throw you a little bit of an oddball here. With all those needs that you've mentioned, do you see you do you see you guys trading up in a draft? This is what I was saying. This is what I've said before. And and Cowboys Twitter just <clears throat> nips it in the bud. And like no no no. This is what I've said. If you go out and get your wide receiver, right, you go out and get it, you know you're going running back because that's your position of need at that point on the offensive side. Because for me, the de- you got to agree. With adding Gallimore, that defense is basically set. Yeah. That defense is set unless you add a Nolan Smith out there with that speed. That's the only, or, or the kid from Pitt. Those are the only two on defense that I'm looking at if they're there at 26. But – Knowing the Cowboys and where they they prioritize their defensive tackles, we last year we got uh, uh um what's the kid's name our second round pick I forget I'm drawing a blank on his name Parsons and then uh, Smith I think his last his last, number fifty four I forget what his name is came from Ole Miss um but you got those two guys at edge right young guys do you go edge again if Nolan Smith is there I I, I don't know so. If I'm the Cowboys and I feel like I need a running back with my offensive line and I feel like Bajon Robinson might get traded or not traded, but might get picked up before 26, I'm trading somewhere. Sam Williams. There you go. Thank, thank you. Thank Sam you. Williams. Thank you, Duke. 
Sam, I was, I was, I was, I knew, I know his name. I just was drawing a blank. Um, um, what, what I'm doing is I'm taking my first, taking, you know, maybe a fourth or a fifth, some, something, and I'm moving up six or seven spots to get my Bajon Robinson. That's where I see the Cowboys trading up. Not not jumping up early in, in, in top 10 or top 15 because I don't see him – I don't see Bajon Robinson going in the top 15 even though he is the best running back or – yeah, the best running back in this division. I see him somewhere in the late round or the first round. And if I'm just the Cowboys and I'm like, you know what? I don't feel comfortable waiting at 26. I'm I'm set at wide receiver with D Hop and I got I got C D Lamb. I'm yeah. set at my quarterback. You know what? I'll wait. You know, I got my that Tyler Smith. I got Tyron Smith. I got Zach Martin. I have Steele if he signs that, you know, he signs his contract. Um Okay, but if you don't have D Hop yet, do you wait still? Well, okay, so if I'm the mindset of the Cowboys and I'm in that war room, right? My mindset is I I know whether I'm gonna get D Hop or OBJ or I'm not. So that's where that plays in. But if if I'm Jerry and I already know, you know, and I'm going into the draft knowing I'm gonna get a D Hop or I'm gonna get an OBJ. I'm going to go and trade up for my running back because I know I'm going to get my other guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that that's where that's that's where I see all that. Well, that that's where I'm coming from is if they make certain moves, then they already know something's up. They already know, all right, I'm getting my guy, my guy that I want. I've also heard the name Jerry Judy. Now, the Eagle – I'm the Eagle, sorry. The, the Broncos want something around the first round. Early second round. That's what they're asking for Judy. What? Yeah, that's what they're asking for Jerry Judy. First like round, early five. second. We're acting like this dude's top five. Ugh. Anyways, maybe you- in the right, maybe in the right system, he is. In the correct system, he can. I mean, if he's a number two, you know what I mean. If he's a number two. Why can't he be a top five? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the same thing with Bradbury. Bradbury was the number two corner. And he's one of the top, this year, one of the top corners in the league. Why? Because he was going up against number two wide receivers. Mm-hmm. So, Duke Butler says, Bronco receivers just say no. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, Jerry Judy has been in an, in an awful situation since he got drafted. Yeah. Imagine him coming to the Cowboys with Dak, with CD, knowing that he's going to be a number two with Gallup. Not even a number two, but there's three number ones yet again. You know what I mean? Three number ones. So you got one A, one B, one C. So this the and Dak is known for spreading the ball around. So. It's not like he's going to come over here and take back seat to two other guys. The ball's going to get spread around, and it's going to be hard for off- defenses to to double-team a CD, double-team a Gallup, which you don't got to double-team a Gallup, but then double try to double-team a, a Jerry Judy and then also deal with a, a uh, uh, Tony Pollard. That's going to be tough. And then whatever running back the Cowboys go get, that's going to be tough to deal with, defensive wise. How do you feel? About I know the Gilmore trade. You what? How do you feel about the Gilmore trade? I was surprised. I was at work. I was at work, and and I was like, oh, the Cowboys acquired. You know, they they. I read it as the Cowboys in, inquired about Stephon Gilmore, meaning they went out and they researched. They they asked about him. And then I opened my, my Twitter again, and I was like, oh, shit, they acquired him, not inquired. I read, I was like, oh, shit, we got Stefan Gallimore? Oh, crap. Like, I was like, I'm at work, and I'm, like, freaking out. And I was like, oh, I wish I was at home right now so I can do some <laughs> something on it. But, you know, it was it was like, yeah, whatever. I'll get to it when I get to it. But, yeah, man, like, when I saw that, and I was like, and for a fifth, not even for our fifth, it's a 
fifth compensatory pick. I mean, it was, it was given to us. It was That's an extra fleece. pick that we gave off. And we got him for got for we got him for that. That's a fleece. Yeah. Like I, I like I'm like, man, like the, the, there's a kicker in there somewhere. But but when you have teams that are willing to just give away players, top players like that, um, they're looking to make cap space. That that's what it is. Or maybe ego is involved somehow. Maybe, maybe, but more than likely it's you, you, you're, you're trying to get, you're trying to absolve that cap. You're trying to get the cap space to do what you need to do, which is what the Cowboys did last year. They, they, they needed the cap space for whatever reason, right. To, and they got rid of, they got rid of Cooper. They got rid of Cooper because that was 20 mil on the cap each year. So they got yeah. rid of him. You know, he it's, it's over with, it's done with. So now we're at where we're at. So, yeah. The Cowboys have we were we were what twenty something million somewhere around there over the cap. We've cleared up forty five million, which puts us at twenty three, and some change. And then you still have Zeke's ten million dollar post June. Oh my God! Put you at thirty three. Yeah, the last play of his career was him getting eight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that that's that's Kellen Moore for you, man. That I mean, and, uh, I mean, what do you think? I mean, the the play the year before where Dak took off running for fourteen yards and slid. Like I mean, that's 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 his. Yo, um, it, it would be awesome if you put a poll up. Which last play of each season was dumber? That one or the freaking one from this season? Now the cat is just woken up. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I had to get a I had to get me a, my last beer. At least your so. cat is not meowing at you. No, my cats are in the garage and then my dogs aren't even here. I don't even know where they're at. So I'm hoping my son is passed out asleep with his mother upstairs. <laughs> so yeah. But uh but no, man. So I've been we've been talking about the Cowboys for the past twenty eight minutes. So I I need to hear about your Eagles. I need to ha- I need to know your thoughts, like your roller coaster of emotions with Slay getting released and coming back. You find out Bradbury's coming back and this whole CJ Garner Johnson thing going down. And then I need to know, like, what what are your feelings on on what uh, Jalen Hurts being. More than likely, he's going to get his contract done this year, right? And you're looking at somewhere of upwards of like 50 mil a year, like Patrick Mahomes type money. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned the Hertz contract. What I really want the Eagles to focus on the most before getting to that contract is getting CJ signed. We need to figure out a way to get something done. And then we worry about all the numbers with the Jayla Hurts thing. Just get him signed. Get CJ signed. But 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 so because CJ is gonna garner a lot of money. Yeah, he is. For, especially for y'all. Even yeah. though we see what we see what the market is for for him for for uh, safeties right now. For him being the NFL uh, uh, interception leader and all that, y- you're looking at somewhere in the 17, 18 million dollar range. Right. Either way, somebody's going to budge, either Howie Roseman or CJ. If Howie Roseman wants to keep this guy, he is actually going to have to pay this guy like a large amount of money. So then what happens, you, you give him that money, and then what happens when it's time to pay your quarterback and you ain't got enough money to pay him? It's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Jerry yeah. Jones ain't all full of shit. Yeah. You got to pick your bet. You got to pick at what spots you want to give your money to. You know what I mean? And I get it. The, the, the seller caps and myth, you can rework all kinds of shit, but yeah. there's no way in hell if I'm CJ and I don't think CJ would do this either. He goes in with a big contract, gets his money, and his, and then his second year where it, be, where it actually hits. Because, you know, more than likely your first year, it happens all the time, it's not a big drain on the salary cap the first year. Why? Because most of it is signing bonus. Yeah. Same thing with the quarterback. More than likely, Jalen Hurts' 
massive deal. The first year is not going to be huge, not going to be a big old chunk on they the usually, salary cap. They usually tell us the second year is. Yeah, it's the second year where that happens. Why? Because most of the time that first year when you sign, more of like 80% of it is is all signing bonus type shit. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> <laughs> bro, that shit. So have you been seeing what's going on? With with, with Cole, all that, yeah, whole Cowboys, yeah, <laughs> bro. But um, as far as Jalen Hurts though, I don't really think he's a selfish guy. He just wants to win. I don't think he's going to take a lot of money if he doesn't. You know, if they're trying to be like saving money, he's not going to look at the Eagles sideways like, okay, you know, I don't want to play for you guys anymore. I request a trade. No, I don't think he's going to be like that either. But at the same time. I honestly think he wants to get paid, and he's gonna get paid. Yeah, like I don't think he's gonna be like, "Oh, give me, give me thirty-eight mil." No, oh, give me forty-five. No, this, this, this dude's gonna want to make bank. Yeah, and and it's gonna be very difficult to when you gotta pay him fifty mil a year, right, from a second year on, and and you got no one else to pay. But at that point, at that point, because guess what? So you got to pay him, but then at that point, Kelsey's probably gone. Myelata is going to be there, right? He's going to be there in the middle of his contract. Um, you're going to have a lot of prove it type guys because you have all these older guys still playing. Jason Peters may or may not be there in a couple years. Yeah, he, he may get, not be there. Release them too. You what? Y'all not Jason. Not Jason Peters. Uh, uh Lane Johnson. Johnson, Lane Johnson. There you go, and Lane Jason Johnson Kelsey. and Kelsey, right? Those two guys may not be there in a couple years, yeah. And now you got contracts up for guys that are on prove it deals, which helps y'all out, but but you don't know the magnitude of what th- their play is and what they can do because. They've been sitting behind Kelsey. They've been sitting behind Lane Johnson. They've been sitting behind um, who? Who? who uh, Mylotta. And then who's your 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 left guard? Like Samalu. Samalu, right? So there's a whole bunch of of things like with 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 uh, the Commanders. They're not gonna yeah. be able to re-sign all five of their guys that they have on defense. Their their top five. Uh, uh, defensive linemen, they're gonna be be able to resign. They just resigned um, uh, Allen for yeah. a lot of money. They're not gonna be able to resign all these guys. So, like for me and uh, for 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 what I see with the Eagles, it's it's gonna be a pick your battle of who uh, who you're gonna give money to. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm. Then we'll probably go team friendly route. Is that Garfield, the orange cat? <laughs> His name is Philip. <laughs> Philip. That's funny. My my wife bought two cats, both while we were together. One when she was well, when she lived at her parents' house, she came home with a cat, and I was like, "Why the hell did you buy that?" Oh, because I want a cat. And then she came home with another one. Both oh, they both live in the garage. One is named. The black cat is named Twix, like the candy Twix. And then the other one is named Marshmallow. Those are those two. And then I got my Yorkie that his name is Milo and then my dog, Ranger. Now, the Yorkie, the Yorkie, I was like, I told her, I like, we didn't need another animal. I was just like, no, 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 no. Don't bring that dog here. I'm going to treat it like shit. I'm going to kick it. I don't want it here. I thought you were going to pay her to not do it. <laughs> and then and then he got here, and that's my baby, man. Like, my dog. Like, I love my dog, Ranger, my big dog. But but Milo, that's my baby, man. Like, don't don't mess with him. I tell my wife, like, even though that's her dog, like, and, like, he pisses her off. I'm like, leave him alone. Stop it. Leave him alone. Milo, come here. Like, I protect him. <laughs> it's nice. It's, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, that it's funny because my big dog follows my wife around, and then my Yorkie follows me everywhere. And I bought my big dog, and she bought the Yorkie. But 
they 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 follow they switched up so so okay so i want i want to know about the eagles so you have pick 10 and pick 30 before or 31 is it 31 yes okay for whatever reason every mock draft that i'm doing they got y'all at 30 i I don't know why but they got y'all at 30 so um well i think it's because well because there's only 31 picks because the the dolphins forfeit their pick oh that's right okay yeah so okay that makes sense so that's why so um so you got pick 10 you got pick 30 what are you expecting the Eagles to do, knowing that they signed Bradbury, knowing that they brought back Slay? You're still up in the air for a safety spot. You brought back your running backs. You re you signed Penny. You have your quarterback. You got your wide receivers. What are y'all looking at doing at at ten and then thirty? If you keep that that thirty. Uh. There's so many things we can do with that 30, but to start out with the 10, I really honestly think, mm, let's go defensive. Somewhere around defensive tackle, we did lose uh, Javon Hargrave, if you, as you mentioned earlier, uh, to the 49ers, but I think that is honestly where we should go. And then for the 30th pick, I don't know. I, I would probably look forward to, like, trading that pick away and probably getting more picks in the later rounds because I don't think we pick in the fourth and sixth round this year. Y'all don't? No, because of the Saints. Oh, okay. Okay. I just I, – I, I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, no, so, so, you, so you don't – so – I'm uncertain about the 30th pick is what I'm saying. But as far as the first round – the first uh, pick that we have, I would go defensive and maybe defensive tackle, something like that. And then, and then with the thirtieth pick, you would like to trade that back to get. And look, and and and, and here's my thinking for y'all. And this yeah. is what I'm thinking: if y'all do trade that thirtieth pick away and get a couple of fourth rounders or whatever, this cornerback class is very deep. It is. And y'all need. I get it. You signed Bradbury. You signed Slay. But they're up there in age. You yeah, need to get younger. So why would you not then select? So there's a guy out of TCU. His name is Hodges. Mm-hmm. That at at number pick number ninety when I do three rounds of draft. Yeah, he is always there. I'm not yeah. saying he's going to be there in, in real life, but Hodges out of TCU. He's he's a he's a great corner, physical. Bump and run type guy, perfect, perfect for the Cowboys. Perfect corner, all around. Like I, I mean, I like him. And then, then, then that's where I'm. That that that's for me. If if I'm going Robinson in the first round, if I'm going Guard in the second round, and I already got my D Hop, or I got my OBJ, or yeah. I got Judy, whoever it is. I'm looking at at at, at Hodges out of TCU, the corner, because well, you- he. You literally just said it earlier, like you literally gave me a reason for why I should trade back because the uh, the draft is really deep. And yeah. I really feel like we can find a corner in the second round. Yeah, no. I mean, not even the second. You could even go third round where you can get a top, top draft pick. Yeah, but it's kind of risky waiting that long, though. Yeah, but but there, like I said, there there are guys out there. There are guys out there that that are top t- top kind of corners that you're gonna get in the just because again not everyone needs a corner you know what I mean there, there's gonna be teams that do not draft corners whatsoever so I mean you got a couple guys out of A and M you you got a couple guys out of TCU you got a couple guys out of Syracuse Maryland like Alabama there, there there's there's lots of corners out there. That you can go out and get, even if you wait in the third round, don't got to necessarily get one in the second. But I get what you're saying. You want a guy that you feel comfortable with, that has a better expectation in the NFL than what a third, fourth, or fifth round does. I get yeah. it. I get it. <sighs> but 
But no, man. Look, we got twenty. We got about you know fifteen twenty minutes left. What 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 else do you want to come on here and say? Like I, you're my guest. I want you to do some talking. I want to know like what you got for the Eagles. Like what you think's going to happen this year. The schedule that 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 can't. I think we're playing the AFC East this year. Like Buffalo and oh boy. all those guys. Like this year. Like that's who we're playing this year. Like yeah. That's why. That's why. Like I I talked about last year and I said. Uh, um, I looked at the schedule and I was like, we went 12 and five, but we didn't play no one. This was a cupcake schedule. Everything was, was, was just, it was easy. Next yeah. year we got the dolphins. We got, and the dolphins are no slouch. Yeah. They they're, just they're no crazy. slouch. They're, they're, they're reloading the clip, man. We got yeah. the dolphins. We got the bills. Who We got the Patriots and, and, and who else? The jets. Like Last time we played the Jets, we lost to Sam Darnold. Now, 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 they got Aaron Rodgers out there. The Eagles are so great, we've never lost to the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we do have the AFC East this year. Um, yeah. So we got the, we got everybody from the AFC East, but here's the kicker. We get the Chiefs again. And it's yeah, because, because y'all won the division, they won their division, so you get one team out of the AFC – and then you get one team out of the of the NFC that you're not playing. So you got the NFC that we play each other. You got the the uh, uh, the NFC. We just played the North this past year. No, it's we the West. The it's the West this year, right? We're playing the West this year, right? We we played the South last year. No, um, we no we played the we played the North last year because we had we because we had Green Bay. We had the line. Oh no. Y'all played the Lions. Y'all didn't play Green Bay. Yeah, we had the South. My bad. We had the South. We had the. We played. The, we played Green Bay. Y'all played the Lions. No, out we, of the North. You're thinking about the. You're talking about the NFC North. I yeah, because because that's what you said. The NFC North, didn't you? I said AFC North. I was like, oh, okay. No, no yeah, AFC we played North. the AFC North. Yeah, this past year. Yeah, we played the AFC South and the NFC North. That let me put it like that. <laughs> Last year, right? Yeah, last year. Oh, yeah. So this year we have the yeah. NFC. We have the we have the NFC West and then the AFC East. Yeah, That's what we, we got this year. We can never beat the Seahawks. We haven't beat them in fifteen years. Uh, we well, I mean, I don't know who they got this. Year. Well, look to to me. I think I mean, even though you got some of your you got your guys back, uh, you got Kelsey back. You have who, – who, who's the other sign? Oh, Fletcher. Dude, I, I Look, I don't understand this. Mm-hmm. If I'm – look, if I'm Fletcher Cox, I get it. A one-year deal. He did it last year. He did it this year. He's going to do it again and again and again until he retires. <laughs> if I'm Boston Scott, all I'm living off of is freaking one-year deals with the Eagle. Eagle. And it's only 1.2 mil this year. Every year, dude. Every year, like all it is is a one-year deal. When are you going to extend me? Like, yeah, when are you going to extend me? Or, or is there another team where I'm going to get a multi-million, multi-year contract somewhere else? Because Boston Be- Scott is low-key a giant killer, man. Like he's been here for us. Yeah, dude, and the Giants are making some moves. Yeah, they are. I'm not too too impressed. They still have to get some wide receivers. No, that that's true. Um, because I, I mean, yeah, they can run it back with Slayton, but Trayvon mm-hmm. Diggs locked that down. And then, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and, and uh, There's Sterling this- Shepard, Sterling Shepard was nothing when he had OBJ and now he's supposed to be the number one or the number two with, with Slayton, with Slayton out there. Nah, nah, I'm, homie. I'm drawing a blank with this light skinned dude who really shined in the playoffs. I forgot his name right now. He's a Giants? Yeah, for the Giants, he he's this light skinned wide receiver. I forgot his name. He he uh showed up big time against the Vikings in the first round. Hold on, I'm gonna look him up. So their wide receivers are Isaiah Hodges. Isaiah Hodges. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> But okay. Yeah, but yeah, I mean so hold on. Let me let me let me let me look at something. Uh Dallas K 
Cowboys 2023 schedule, which is not out yet, but they have the, the teams that they're playing. So Washington, Washington, we got the Cardinals. We're going to win. The Giants, we're going to win. We got the Eagles. We got the Rams. We Because we're playing the West. The Rams ain't shit. The Rams are going to get dominated. I'm sorry. The AFC West is just going to straight, get straight dominated. Except for the team. Niners. The Niners are loading up. The, you, they got your boy Hargrave. Yeah. Um, Seattle, we got the Patriots. We got the Jets, the Dolphins, the Giants, the Eagles, the Niners, the Bills. Okay, the Panthers are going to be nothing. We got Detroit. Who's lost? Who's losing their guys left and right? And we got okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Looking at this schedule, Washington. That's two. Cardinals. That's three. The Giants. Okay. You know what? Okay. Whatever. That's that's two, three, saying, four, five. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't sleep on the Panthers. They did get Miles Sanders. I think they're about to get another. Yeah, but uh, one guy. Well, you don't even got a quarterback. They're about. And, they're, to get, and then you're gonna count on a rookie quarterback? I don't think so. <laughs> With the, with the, with the suspect defense, I don't think so. I I don't know. And the only reason why Miles Sanders went there was because of Deuce Staley. No other reason. He also went there because he wasn't getting a load enough in Philly. Well, I mean, Philly wasn't loading anyone up on the running back side because we're a running back by committee. Not just that, you're a running back quarterback. That's what you are. Your quarterback cannot throw, so he takes off running. That's what he does. That's what he does. If you look at all his stats as far as passing-wise, he was in the bottom half of everything when it comes to passing. But the guy's dangerous in those RPOs that you got to account for that, which helps him in his passing game. Take out those RPOs, take out all that stuff, and have him be a pure drop back quarterback. No, nah. he's going to be like Dak Prescott and be ass because Dak Prescott, Jalen Hurts is two point Dak Prescott. Look at what Dak Prescott did in college: RPOs, took off running, all that kind of crap. They changed Dak to where he wanted to to, to make him be drop back quarterback and go through his progressions and read, so which he can do, but he's better at what. He's better when it comes to what Jalen Hurts does. So if you have him do what Jalen Hurts does, Dak Prescott will fucking thrive. So he's a 2.0 Dak Prescott, but he already has two playoff wins in his career. Okay, listen to what I'm saying. (laughs) The Dallas Cowboys, that coaching staff, made Dak Prescott into a pocket quarterback, which he's not good at doing, he's not comfortable doing. The Eagles coaching staff did not turn Jalen Hurts into a pure pocket quarterback. They developed play. I mean, you saw it when he got hurt against the the Bears. He already had 17 rushes under his belt. When did Dak Pre- when has Dak Prescott ever touched 10 rushes with the Cowboys? Not ever. Not, not a lot. Ever. Not ever, right? Mm. And, and that's because they turned him into a pocket quarterback, which he is not. He is a Jalen Hurts type player. So if he would have, if he would, if he would do what Jalen Hurts does, if he played that way, things would be a ve- would be very different. But they're not because the coaching staff <laughs> made them into made Dak into a pocket passing quarterback. He said, last time I checked, Dak has never played a Super Bowl. Well, to be fair, he did go to the Super Bowl. He did, which <laughs> I was trolling someone on that the other day. They are like, oh, Jalen Hurts has been to a Super Bowl. I was like, last I checked, uh, Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott have been to the same amount of Super Bowls. You're delusional. You're tripping. When when, when was Dak Prescott ever ever been in a Super Bowl? I don't know, man. He was He was at the Super Bowl this year. Accepting or giving someone accepting an award, so I know he was there. Being a oh, cowboy, fuck that, blah, blah 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 blah. Like the dude went off. Like, be, you, you know what? Being a Cowboys fan, I'm surprised he didn't say Tony Romo has been to two. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, speaking of the Super Bowl, I guess everybody wants to hear the story about me crying, right? Or, or the reason why I cried, right? Oh yeah. I mean, I I mean, I saw the 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 um. 
the live stream, the, the live, the video of, of you crying. But yeah, tell tell the story because I was actually thoroughly excited and happy. I was like, <laughs> oh <laughs> shit, the Eagles lost. I was like, hell yeah, hell yeah, bro. Let me, let me check on my boy. Where you hiding? Make sure he ain't in his field. Yeah, and then and then. <laughs> And then I saw you crying. I was like, there's no way. Ain't no way this this, this, this dude crying. Ain't no way homie's crying right now. I was like, this dude's crying. Like, I really thought this team was going to go all the way. This was like a team that was destined to win it all. That's what hurt me the most. I promised this 11-year-old boy that we were going to win this Super Bowl in front of his face. And they didn't come through for me. Um, so all of that culminated and I was like, man, cause I remember seeing my first Super Bowl, like he's seen his first Super Bowl and I'm like, yo, yeah, I was the same way when I was a kid. I cried for every Super Bowl losses, wins, man. Every Super Bowl as a kid, like for the Eagles, you only went to one. Yeah. You only went well, to one. Well, I mean, thanks for clearing it up for me. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, every Super Bowl I've ever seen, I, I've cried for. Whether we've lost, won, hopefully I don't have to cry for the next one because I hope it's a blowout. I hope the Eagles, you know, blow out whoever they're going to play. So, and and so people people get pissed off when I talk, right? And I yeah. talk Super Bowls and talk all that stuff, and and I have a face that you know I look like I'm 22, 23, 24 around there, and I get guys that sit there and tell me. Oh, you've never seen a Super Bowl. You don't know what a playoff run is. You don't know this. You don't know that. And I'm like, you were talking you sure? about this last night too. Yeah, I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. you've never seen. I was like, are you are are you positive you want to go down this road? <laughs> oh, you ain't never. That I was like, mm, homie, like guy, like. So and, and see and and here here's the thing, I don't sit here and I say, oh yeah. Like I like I've been around like I don't sit here and say yeah I've I've watched three Super Bowls I've seen the Cowboys win I I don't say those words right yeah I'm very very particular of what I say so that way you can't come at me and say oh you said this and then third no I didn't so I choose my words very carefully which is why I say. I've been alive for three Super Bowls. What are y'all talking about? And no one ever checks me on that. You know what I mean? Like, no one ever says anything about me, like, remembering the Super Bowl or nothing. When they hear three Super Bowls and I've been alive for three, they stop. They shut up. They don't say nothing. Yeah. I've been alive for three, but in 92, I was four years old. Yeah. In 93, I was five. Two years later, I'm seven. That's when you kind of really start remembering and seeing, remembering things. So seven years old, I was I was seven, and we we beat the Pittsburgh, uh, the Steelers. Pittsburgh, yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, we we beat the Steelers in '95. So that's the one I really only really claim and I talk about. Yeah. I don't talk about the other two, even though I know very well what happened in the other two. I just don't talk about them because I was four and five during those two. Okay, so, so so that's how I get around what I do, be, and, and that's why I'm I can check people because of the uh, of the way I say what I say. You know, if I said, "Oh yeah, you know, three Super Bowls," you know, I, I remember seeing the Cowboys win three. Oh, how old were you in the first one? Four? No, you don't remember shit. Oh, yeah. how old were you in the second one? Five? No, you don't remember shit. Seven? That's a different story. Yeah, you're closer to eight, nine, ten. Like that's 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 a little different. Yeah. Not four and five where you're like, eh, I don't, even though I very well could because I could research it and look it up. But I I know because growing up, I remember watching – my dad has the 92 Super Bowl Cowboys, and I remember like just always popping in the VCR, like rewinding it and then watching it all over again, rewinding it, watching it all over again. Because as a kid, that's what I did. Like I, I love the Cowboys, and that's what I would do was rewind, watch it, Rewind it, re watch it again, rewind it, watch. And I would spend hours doing yeah. that. So I got something to say about the people who are claiming titles who've never seen their Super Bowls. So I, I have this theory. Like you have to know the starting 22 in order to claim those rings. You have to absolutely know them by heart, 
I don't care if you got to see them. You just got to know exactly every name and every title that you claim. That's my thing. If, if you've never seen those Super Bowls or never witnessed those Super Bowls that you're claiming, you've got to know you're starting 22. At seven, I couldn't tell you my starting 22. I can tell you my big stars. But yeah. we did have um, – it was me, Notion, J-Tuck, and someone else. And it was Cal, and, and and I want to say it was, it was me, J Tech Notion, and another Eagles fan, and we were and 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 no, it was three Cowboys fans, and then no, Philly Notion, and he was doing Cowboys trivia, and they were talking about the the last Super Bowl, which is ninety five, and he was asking like, who was the MVP of the last? I was like Larry Brown. Knew off the top of my head, you had yeah. J Tech and someone else. They didn't remember. They were wow. like, "Who's the quarter?" They were like, "Who's the quarterback of the?" Not that they couldn't remember, but they weren't quick to answer. They're like, "Who's the who's who do you now? Who's the the quarterback?" And I was like, uh, "I want to say it was O'Donnell, which it was." And then they're like, "Who was the performing? Who was the halftime show?" And they're like, uh, "Uh," and I was like, "Diana Ross," and it was fucking Diana Ross. Mm-hmm. Like there was so many so much stuff that didn't pertain to football that I knew Yeah. that, that just, I mean, I'm like, look, you can sit here and talk shit all day that I was too young, but I'm, I'm over here remembering shit that the older guys are not remembering. Speaking, as of, far half, as, speaking of halftime shows, I'm still mad that y'all, ha- y'all were in a Super Bowl where Michael Jackson was in. It was one of those four. I can't remember which one, but one of those three, I mean, it was probably 90. It had to have been 92. Because 95 was Diana Ross, unless he was there. I think it was the first one. Nah. It, it had to have been 92. It had to have been 92. Best so. halftime show ever. Nobody yeah. beats me. <laughs> but, uh, but all right, man, we're, we're already up here close to our hour, so we're about a minute off. But I appreciate you, homie, for coming on here, talking to the Cowboys, Eagles, what you think is going to happen. What I think is going to happen. Guys, people in the comments, where are you hiding? I have his YouTube channel in the description. So please go to his, go to the description, find where it's at, click the link, hit his like, subscribe to him, hit the like button for him, get him some subs. Where are you hiding? Other than YouTube, where else can they find you, big dog? They can also find me on Twitter at where are you hiding? They could also find me on Instagram, Denzin Your Name Is. Uh, and that is pretty much it. You can also find me on Twitch, which I don't use very much, but I will. Anyways, yep, that's where you can find me. Yep. All right, guys. Well, we had a fun time here talking Cowboys Eagles. I appreciate where you're hiding coming on. You know, he didn't cry too much today, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we had a good time. And, look, I got to put your boy on blast here, which I do at the end of all my streams. But where are you hiding? I appreciate you for coming on, dog. I hope we can do this again. It was fun. We need to do this. We need to do this after the draft. I don't know if you're doing anything for the draft, but I'm going – look, I already requested the day off, so I already know I'm going to be home streaming the draft. So if you want to come through, hang out for a little while, you're more than welcome to to hang out which the draft it. is April 27th. It's a Thursday. Yes, so so if you want to come through and hang out, and then my, my birthday will be the week before that, on wow. the Thursday before that. Nice. So I'll be turning 35. I'll be turning 32. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. Damn it. Uh, anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm right on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. So, like, because I'm the 20th. Some maps say that I'm an Aries. Some maps say I'm a Taurus. Just depending on how you're looking at the scope of everything. I claim Taurus just because I have more traits of that. So that's what that's what I do. But, guys, everyone, appreciate everyone for stopping by. We're going to head on out. Y'all have a good one. Thanks, man. I have never in my life felt so uncomfortable. Jesus Christ. Anyway. <laughs>